I am Gene Suarez of Redwood City Public Library's Archives Board, and I am happy to introduce Jim Clifford, a local historian, to tell the story of this downtown tour of historic Redwood City as put on by the members of the Archives Committee and the volunteers of the local history room. Here is California Square, which Simon Mezzi's developed as the center of the town of Mezzi'sville. The square was where the Hall of Justice stands today. The original purpose was to replicate a central square in Mexico City. The Messiesville map was the first official map of Redwood City, and it was drawn by the egotistical agent of the Arguello family, the earlier mentioned Simon Mezzi. As soon as they could, the citizens of the town changed the name to Redwood City, and it's been that way ever since. Mezzi's was not a very popular fellow in those days. Notice in the right-hand corner is the Redwood Creek, the foundation of Redwood City, and notice the relationship to the rest of the town. And you can see all the houses springing up around the plaza, which was set up years ago, but now is replaced by this, the county courthouse, which is a housing project all of its own because it contains a jail. And you can see a little bit of the plaza left between those two buildings. Next stop is the Lathrop Connor Mansfield House. Benjamin G. Lathrop appeared in Redwood City in 1853, rather quickly found himself a popular person. This well-educated gentleman came from the east, lived briefly in the south, and then traveled and settled in the west. Benjamin built his house where it backed onto Redwood Creek, across the street from a vacant lot that soon would become a courthouse. It was located where today's Fox Theater is. Lathrop's house was a very large house, twice the size of the home that exists today. Lathrop became the county's first clerk and recorder. He didn't have far to go to work, maybe just a few blocks. That is Joel Mansfield. He was the third occupant of the house. He replaced General Patrick Edward Connor, who purchased the house after his service in the Civil War. Mansfield moved it to its present location from near the courthouse. Joel became the sheriff of San Mateo County in 1897, and he too did not have far to go to work. Even in those days, a key to real estate was location, location, location. Joel died in the house in 1916. This is the San Mateo County Courthouse. This imposing grand structure is the San Mateo County Courthouse, the fourth courthouse built on this property since 1858. It is on the National Register of Historic Places. The 1910 neoclassical facade was reconstructed in 2006. This is the county's first courthouse, and the view is to the lumber stacks at the Hanson Ackerson Lumber Docks on Redwood Creek. It was called the Old Gristmill Courthouse. On October 21, 1868, a major earthquake hit the peninsula and it destroyed the second story. This story was used for court cases and dances and church services, so the courts were moved to the first floor. The other services were put on hold. January 1869, the second courthouse was opened on the same property. This building was called the Justice Court because of the large wooden statue of Lady Justice as the frontispiece for the new building. People often ask what happened to Lady Justice. Well, she was eaten by woodpeckers. Construction on the new courthouse began around the turn of the century and took place behind the second courthouse. The rotunda was built of steel. The rest of the building was constructed as the new year commenced 
and lumber was used to frame the various wings and rooms for records and courtrooms and various other county functions. The second courthouse was torn down when the building was far enough along and workers began moving furniture into the building. The building was ready to be occupied in April 1906 when the great earthquake struck the Bay Area and destroyed most of the courthouse. What wasn't destroyed was a steel braced and framed rotunda which stands today as a salute to those who saved this special structure, which today houses the San Mateo County Museum, which has galleries, including an immigrant gallery that shows the contribution of all immigrant groups. And this is the beautiful courthouse plaza. This is the Redwood City Grammar School that was constructed in 1895 on what was then A Street across from the courthouse. Today, the Fox Theater occupies the land. The grammar school also housed a high school until Sequoia High School was built a block away. The present high school on El Camino was built in 1925. This grammar school gave way to the Sequoia Theater in 1928. If you notice, the marquee says Sequoia Theater not New Sequoia Theater, which often was referred to in the old days. The usher, third from the right in that picture, is Louis de Mateus, who went on to become DA and a judge. He gave Sandra Day O'Connor her first big break in the legal field. The Sequoia became the Fox in 1950 after extensive renovations were needed when part of the ceiling caved in, injuring several in the audience. The photos show clearly why old theaters were called palaces, but we're more up to date to that in Redwood City. We've featured the Tower of Power here, Bill Cosby, the Peninsula Symphony, Broadway shows put on by Broadway by the Bay, and oh yes, President Obama. This is the original Sequoia High School, founded in Redwood City in 1895. Classes were held in the Central Grammar School until the building on Broadway was constructed in 1904. Students were moved to the El Camino campus in 1924. The site is currently home to a cinema and a retail complex called Theater Way. Here is the Redwood City, Redwood Creek Turning Basin. This is the site of the beginning of Redwood City, the Embarcadero Turning Basin. The Redwood City Creek Turning Basin was where the parking lot is today behind City Hall and the post office. Most people don't realize it, but when they walk over there, they're walking over water. Chips would come in at high tide, turn around, and wait until the tide went back up because it took that long to go through the process. The ship would sail out to the Hanson Ackerson docks and be loaded with cargo and sail out on the high tide. To give you an example of the value of the creek, here's a normal work week in Redwood City. 24 ships arrived and were loaded with 50,000 board feet of lumber, 1.7 million shingles, as witnessed by the mast in the corner of this photo and the shingles being hauled away by the horses. 108,000 fence posts, 152 cords of firewood, and substantial amounts of tanned leather and fruits and vegetables bound for destinations from Sacramento to San Jose, Santa Rosa, and Stockton. The Bank of San Mateo County building was built on Broadway about 1900 and it was the first commercial savings bank on the peninsula, but it suffered major damage during the 1906 earthquake. Notice the towers there and power lines that were very pioneering for the day. 
It had to be rebuilt in 1910, renovated in 1982, and included the Fitzpatrick Building, named for a prominent attorney, Edward Fitzpatrick. This is Sequoia Hotel, once the pride of Redwood City. It was built in 1912 for $100,000, then a princely sum. And this is what it looked like when it was opened. It was at Broadway and Main Street. If you notice in this picture, there's a Model T and a carriage and Broadway dead ends at Main Street. And here's the Eureka Brewery, once located where the Sequoia Hotel is today. This picture taken in the 1880s, if you look down the street, you can see the mast of ships. What are they doing on a street? Well, they're not on the street, they're on the water, and it's headed for the basin we talked about earlier. The Diller Chamberlain Store. John Vogan Diller came to Redwood City in the mid-1850s and built this structure that still stands today. The purpose of the original construction was to do business out the street side and also do business on the creek side. Redwood Creek runs directly behind this building. P.P. Chamberlain took possession of the building and was responsible for the county treasury for a good period of time while earthquake damaged courthouses were being rebuilt. The safe for the Wells Fargo Company was also under the watchful eye of Diller and Chamberlain. This photo gives a good indication of why those stores were called general stores. They have everything in it. This is what it looks like today, a typical office building. But if you notice, there is a post on the right side, and that is loaded with Chinese writing. We haven't had an interpreter yet. And if you notice the shutters, they're not there to stave off an enemy attack. They're there for fire protection. And you can see a lot of shutters like that in the gold country of California. Here's the Wells Fargo wagon that came to town in Redwood City. And this is the present Wells Fargo Bank across the street from the Diller Chamberlain store, which still stands. American Hotel, American House. The American Hotel was Redwood City's first hotel, built in 1853. After a fire in 1864, a new three-story structure was built in 1867 and named American House. This new hotel lasted until 1878, when it also burned down. Then came the wall building, which was partially torn down in 1931, when Broadway was extended. And this is the present site. The Alhambra Theater was built by Charles Jocelyn, a Woodside contractor, in 1895 and opened in 1896. It was a beautiful building with a full stage, produced many plays that were very well attended. Unfortunately, the movie theaters came into existence and put an end to that. So the Masonic organization purchased the building and established its lodge. Today, the building houses Martin's West, a upscale restaurant where Wyatt Earp, in the old days, built it up to the bar. That's Earp in the foreground. He's the guy with the handlebar mustache. Erp is buried in coma. Most people don't know that. And it's in the Jewish cemetery. In addition to Martin's West, the building houses other restaurants and stores, many of them antique stores. The Odd Fellows Fraternal Organization, which has symbols of rings which look similar to the Olympic ones. The building that ends this tour houses the Redwood City Public Library and the Volmeyer Local History Room, but its real history is that of the main Redwood City Fire Station. Built in 1920, 
under the auspices of Fire Chief Mark Ryan, pictured now, and Assistant Fire Chief Bert Werder, it is the only main fire station we remember today. The first fire station was built on Main Street close to the Diller store. When the Redwood City Volunteer Fire Department was formed in 1861, it was the first non-profit organization in San Mateo County history. The present library is housed in the fire station, which is a fine example of the Italian Renaissance style. The fire station was remodeled and expanded to house the library in 1989. And that ends our walking tour of Redwood City. We hope you return here and someday take the tour yourself of Redwood City where the climate is best by government test.